Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some random video game action figures, brand new and used action figures. Of course, we got some Jack Specific Sonic. We got Huggy Wuggy from that one video game I for have our trouble pronouncing. We got some Mario. We got a Grunt from Halo. We got a Minecraft TN and TNT explosive block. And an Angry Bird. But now we're going to get on to looking at each figure. Now that it has reached a minute. We're going to look at our Mario stuff first. First on the list, we got our first posable Bowser. Yes, he's Bowser. He'll be like, I'll get you, Mario. His legs are not moving, so they're not meant to move. They're really tight, and I don't want to break it. Head can move, arms can move, really good Bowser, tail can move, the details on this figure are really good, even down to his spike shell, his spike bands on him, his body is really well sculpted and painted, I just dig it. But yeah, he looks pretty cool. But now we're done looking at him. We're going to get down to some comparisons with some other Mario stuff. So I'm going to dig out my fast food toy Bowser, which he is being replaced with that one. Probably going to just toss him straight in the cell pile because I got a better one. Here's the fast food toy Bowser. He doesn't move at all. Why not? Say why not? Here are some of Bowser's minions, which I do got. That one, that one, I'm bad with knowing all the Bowser bad guy names for his minions. We got a couple boos, those are the ones I know by heart. Speaking of boos, we got this light up boo as well, he just lights up. So we do have quite a few Bowser minion figures. I just don't have a lot of them. But now that's all there is to say for the Bowser figures. Let's get on to the next figure. We got some Mario Kart figure. It's a fast food toy, but it rolls. I love some rolling Mario Karts. And now for some comparisons with some other like Mario Kart toys. We got... Toads, cart, that's the unpainted Mario Kart, we got this painted one, Bowser one, I love finding Mario Kart figures, they're just awesome, and that's all there is to say for the Mario Kart, this review is really going smoothly, and this is my first ever loose Angry Birds action figure. And yeah, he, they're angry. They don't have any articulation, but they're angry looking birds. Who launched themselves as the piggies. Next on the list, we got a Halo Infinity Grunt. I got him a guns and go, take this, Spartan. And yeah, he can shoot. If you want to make some shooting noises for him. Problem is, he can't stand. On, I'm trying to get him to stand, which is tricky enough. With his body being so top-heavy. Finally got him standing. Here he is next to some other Halo figures. Man, can't you just stand up on your own? Gonna have to stand him up against another figure. One of our brand new figures. Here he is next to the Halo mech suit figure. And be like... Eat my machine gun arm grunt. You're like, run away, we're all gonna die, sort of circumstances. That's what the grunt said all the time. 
And then, finally, Master Chief. You're like, it's the Chief! Make a run for it! I love doing impressions here. And that's all there is to say for the Halo Infinity grunt. It's not the classic grunt design, but the armor design for this is just so cool. Definitely going to be displaying him on my Halo shelf, for sure. And he's got this cool backpack, which just looks awesome. So glad I picked this up when I found it. Look forward to putting that on my Halo shelf with these other Halo figures. Next, we got a little display figure of another figure, and this is a Gears of War Santiago with the Gears shotgun. They fire up to 8 to 16 rounds. So this is a good representation of Santiago. I love the paint, I love the sculpt, and I love the armor. I'm going to look to see what year is on the foot by taking off camera if I can get a year. Let's see. 2015. Wow. That was a long time ago for this. 2015. Wow. But now we're going to compare it with another Gears of War figure I own. Here is Gears of War Judgment. Baird. So I have a couple of Gears action figures for my collection, and that figure does not have any articulation, so he's just going to go straight on the shelf. Next on the list, we got a block of TNN TNNT. You're like, fire and hole, boom! Sorry, I couldn't help throwing it, make it seem like it's going to go off and blow up. Next, we're going to look at these Jack Specific Sonic. First on the list, we got Rouge the Bat. I was so stoked to find her for five bucks at Dollar General. And I'm glad I picked her up. So now my Jack Specific Sonic collection is coming along. But now we're going to look at her package in. You got a nice Sonic ring. Sonic on the back. Sonic the Hedgehog. And a line of the figures we already own. I don't have intent to see of owning him because I already got a figure of him in my collection. But now we're going to look at the next one, which is good old cheese. We got cheese here. Little bitty cheese. And yeah, we got the ring, which Sonic would go and catch these rings. So I got another ring for my playset here. When we look at cheese herself, we're going to look at the packaging. We got, oh, it's Cho. I forget and mix their names up. We got Cho from Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog. Nice little figure, artwork and packaging. And now we'll get down to some comparisons once we get done with the last one. We got Mighty Sonic here. He just popped on his packaging because I cut the uh, rubber bands that were holding them in. Mighty Sonic. Look at the packaging. Here we got Mighty Sonic. And other figures in the line. That's all there's to say for the packaging. Articulation. Exactly the same as all the other ones I own. Definitely love picking these up. And the arms are articulated, so you do get some movement. No bend at the knee for Rouge, because she's, she, she's wearing some big heel boots. Why not? She's wearing some big boots. And Cho has some articulation, just not much and none at the feet. But now we're going to do some comparisons with some other Jack-specific Sonic stuff. These figures remind me of the Sonic X action figures. We're going to move young Mighty Sonic off to the side. We'll get down comparisons and we get some Sonic X-like comparisons. Here we got Tails, Silver from the same line, Sonic, Knuckles, so we're getting so far the classic Sonic gang. I still need to get 
cream herself. And then my collection will be complete. Sorry if I got confused there for a minute. Come on, Knuckles. Stand, buddy. Sometimes he doesn't like standing, and he just doesn't want to stand. I'm trying to get him to stand on camera. Okay, we got Knuckles to stand. We got Amy Rose. And Knuckles just decided he was going to fall over. Oh, come on, Knuckles boy. There's no time to be falling on the job. And last but not least, we got some other figures to compare. Here we got Mr. Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman himself. We got the battle, Dr. Eggman. We got Shadow the Hedgehog, because he's Shadow the Hedgehog. And I knocked down Knuckles again. Knuckles, you fall down figure. Hate it when Knuckle when Shadow's got to fall over. For some reason, Shadow does not like to stand on his own. There we go. We'll lean him up against Amy. That's not weird. And last but not least, Metal Sonic. And that's my own Sonic X style line of toys. I definitely look forward to adding these to my shelf, which right now I'm going to add them straight to my collection shelf. But a whole lot of video game stuff to do today, huh? I love video game stuff so much is why I picked this stuff up. Especially why. I'll have to find Eggman wherever he went off to. Hey, when I drop something, lose track of it. I'll find it. But now we get to put all these back on the shelf. And we get some comparisons with Young Mighty Sonic before we end the video. And grab the ring. And I just drop the ring into this box. Okay. Now we can get on comparisons for Young Sonic. Here we got Young Sonic. Mighty Young Sonic. My big scale... Classics Young Sonic and my Transparent Young Sonic. But yeah, I got the whole wave of these things. They're just that awesome. And I love picking up some Sonic the Hedgehog action figures. They are awesome to pick up and I'm so glad I have these for my collection. But that's all there is to say for comparison. Huggy Wuggy from Poppy's Playtime. That's what he was from. Smiley, Huggy Wuggy. But before we look at the figure itself, got a nice product shot of Huggy Wuggy. Smiling Huggy Wuggy. Got a product shot of Huggy Wuggy saying, Did you know Huggy Wuggy is Playtime's co most popular toy? Ah. And our figures in line, we got Scary Huggy Wuggy. Mommy Long Legs, Kitty, Huggy, Misty, and all the other figures in the line, which I don't own, but I finally got a figure of him for my shelf, which is cool. I just dropped the extra piece that went with it, but articulation for Huggy Wuggy, arms are articulated, head is not on a ball joint, but it rotates. Arms can do this. Legs can kick back that far. Kick forward that far. No back movement. Not much of it. And that's all there is to say. It's not a very well articulated action figure. I'll say that much for it. But now for the only... Puppy's Playtime figure I have to compare this with, if I can find where I put the thing. Come on, Huggy Wuggy, where are you? Scary Huggy Wuggy. Ah, there you are. And this is a noise-making gimmick one. See what I mean? 
He doesn't work anymore, but it's a good comparison. Scary? Not scary. Are these worth adding to your collection if you love video game action figures? Yes. Highly recommend you pick these up. These are a lot of fun. And before we move on and rock on 